In this video, we're looking at a brand new landing page template called Fusion. And you're gonna love this design. We've changed around the way the background images work in different rows, and we're gonna to get to that in a second. So firstly, let's look at the top area. You see we've got this nice background image applied on this top row, and then we've got this white font here. The background image itself has got a like gradient through it, so it's easier to see that white headline. So we've got the first headline appear here, which stands out slightly off center. So it pulls the eye over to the left hand side. If you were to change this image, you could have something with maybe something a bit more prominent that you would see in the background, which may be related to your product that you're selling. Um, firstly, as we go down, we've got a nice little sort of a text heading here or just this subheading text area. And then we go to these two buttons that are using a split row. We'll show you that when we jump inside the live editor. If I click on the first one, get started, we open up the overlay optimizer. You can see we've brought through the same blue color into this button. We've got the progress bar across the top. Then we've got a nice simple headline here using some bold copy or bold styling to the actual headline itself. Now if I close this one down, you can see next to it we've got a learn more button as well. Now if you click on the learn more, again we've used the overlay optimizer to show a bit more information. So it saves the user clicking away to another page. You can change this content inside here to maybe explain your product or the process of what's going to happen next or what they're downloading. And you can see we've put in the little news ticker at the top here, headline, and we've put in the featured blocks again with icons and custom icons and you can change all this up it's just a good example to show you how you can use the optimize or the overlay optimizer in a different way other than just an opt-in form so let's go back to the site going further down we've brought in that same sort of color which complements with this light blue we've got this nice dark color here on this row and then we've used these icon images across this row as well. And these are separate images, all been put in. You could do this with rows and split up the rows. We've just used one image element with all the icons in there. Going further down, you can see with this entire design, we've added lots of styling just to the bold and to the headlines. We've put in that bold just to make certain words stand out. So if you use that, you can highlight certain keywords throughout your landing page. Then we've put in this text element here. We've got some text and then we've put in the blue icons with these featured blocks in these two columns here. So they nicely lay out. This could be a features area of your landing page. It could be describing the benefits of your product, but it's just nicely laid out. Lots of spacing as well, you can see, so it's very clear on the page. Going further down, we've got this beautiful background image in place. This is a large image and it's set to cover and stretch the entire row. You can easily change that with your own image, of course. Then we've used the headline in here again with a slightly different font, but again, bringing through that styling, the bold styling, um, highlighting some of these keywords in the headline. We've then used the same blue tone in this button. If we click on it, we've copied across the same overlay optimizer again, so we can bring people in here and get them to click on this button and opt in. Going further down, we've used a image and a text element here to get this testimonial look here. Again, you've got the headline across here with some bold styling through the wording. And then going further down, you're gonna like this, how we've laid out the new background rows. And these background rows are just full images with a bit of CSS styling to push the image over to either side. And it gives that nice grid layout. This is beautiful layout regarding how you can lay out content and make the eye sort of read the text here and it can see an image and it drops down reads the text, goes back over to this image here on the side. So this is a beautiful combination or beautiful grid layout done with CSS. We'll jump in and show you how that's done in a second. And going further down, we've got the testimonial section. We've used it to highlight some customers. You could do it for your team or however you wanted. Again, that bold styling in the headline really makes certain words stand out. These are all images that have just been put into a columns or each column of the row here. And going further down towards the bottom, we end with another overlay optimizer. Again, nice simple headline, bold styling in that headline, making it stand out. And if we click on this, we have the overlay optimizer pop up again, asking for the same content. Let's jump inside, have a quick look in the live editor. Let's just quickly take a look at the buttons at the top here. Now you can see we've got the styling, the two buttons here, we've got the getting started and the learn more button. Now these have been put in using the split row effect. So once you put in a element like this element in here, you can then split the element clicking on this little plus sign here at the bottom 
click on that and it gives you the option to then split down another column so you can split it into all these different layouts we've got. And that's how we've tucked away these two little buttons nicely to the left there. And what I wanted to show you was the split CSS rows. Now if we scroll right down to these rows, you can see here this is one row and if I click on the edit the row here, you can see we've got a CSS class called row image right and that is styling this image, putting this image over to the right and then the row below it we have, if we open it up, we have row image left. Now all you have to do if you wanted to change these images is literally just replace the image as you normally would, scroll down and edit the image here exactly as you would any other row. The CSS itself is applied in page settings and then other scripts. If we just scroll down here we can see there we have the CSS row image left and row image right. We've got the background size where it's set in the background size here and then we've got the positioning of row image right to the right and then the left one is done slightly different with a margin but don't worry about that all you need to do is just replace the images in these rows and the CSS will take care of the layout you can just replace the images to keep that nice grid effect or that grid look on your landing page so that's really it that's the fusion template it's ready for you to go and download inside the clubhouse now and as always we'd love to see it in action on your site